Yeah, yeah. you said that like a bad thing. It's just really clever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why would you have Azure Connect Episode Five Tech Two? Welcome to Azure Connect, the show where we try to make Azure simple. And my name is Alistair Pugin, I am your host and my co-host and, well, he used to be an industry expert, but there's a new guy in town. Uh, Resident jealous guy? Yeah. It's okay. That's, that's it's all right. Warren Detroit. Hi, Quentin. <laughs> we spent the, the first 15 minutes recording at the wrong ISO, and, and I, I'm a stickler for production value. So we, we reshoot it. At least this time we won't stumble through. So welcome to Azure Connect. For those that are new, this is a bi-monthly, fortnightly. I prefer the term fortnightly. Yeah, much better. Fortnightly. Yeah. Fortnightly. Fortnightly show where we talk to you about all things Azure. <clears throat> and this is episode five. There's actually two episodes before this. We don't really follow order. It's more like a Star Trek thing. Star yeah. Wars thing. Star Wars thing. Ooh. At least Star Trek's in the right order, right? Oof. I think fighting words. Huh? Yeah, Vulcan, logic. Yeah, Vulcan, logic. Vulcan, yes. Vulcan, Vulcan logic. Vulcan logic. No, well, you and can't, it, can't screw up the order of boring. Eh? <coughs> Nothing. <laughs> and Q, yeah, I don't know and what it Q is. usually comes before W, right? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Depends if you're going ascending or descending. Anyhow, <clears throat> after, after, after notes and uh, texts on our WhatsApp line, um, we even it was got so much better when you said it the first time. Yeah. After much consideration from our polls. Do we have polls? Is that <laughs> the same? It, we also have a podcast apparently. Yes, apparently so. There's a podcast. And what, what, the what podcast, podcast Sync? What is it called? Podsync. Podsync. Are we on Podsync? Oh, no, you didn't have to bring that up. But I thought we were on Podsync. Almost. Almost. Uh, episode 6. Anyhow, if you're new, <laughs> grab a whiskey, grab a cola, grab some Monster. Uh, it's not sponsored by Monster, but if Monster wants to sponsor the show, we'll, we'll gladly take that. Yep. It is also very You know, that's part of the show notes. Like that little Monster plug where we ask them for sponsorship. Really? Yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. There it is. There okay. there. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Why does it say because Al is not an Azure guy and if he can understand it, so can you. When did you add that? When did you think I was going to notice that? Wow. I didn't know. I thought it would take you longer. Anyhow, <laughs> we're digressing. On this week's show, we thought that because Warren doesn't shut up about Kubernetes and Quentin also talked about Kubernetes and everyone talks about Kubernetes, what are the implications of deploying something like Kubernetes inside of your organization? And we went to our esteemed co-founder of, what is it called again? Uh, Azure Boards UG, right? There's a, there's a UG. It's just been created. Awesome. <laughs> Happy to be part of it. To, 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 to our, for our European viewers, because we can't have listeners because there's no podcast, right? Yeah. Okay. For our European viewers, this is Herman, Herman Black. Herman Black. For our South African, say, Namas Harman Swart. Well said. Welcome, dude. Uh, Thank you. To, wait, Thank wait. you. Wait. This. Uh, there we go. Did I? I saw it. Okay. All right. See? Okay, kids, adult. <coughs> Welcome to the show. We're excited to talk to you about all things Azure Boards. Cool. And uh, just a little bit of history about the, the concept of Azure Boards. Uh, it's not clippy from what we understand. No, no. So, um, and maybe we don't use posters. Let's use stickies. Stickies. Uh, you okay. just use no. posters in a sentence. So, so anyway. um, I, would, I would think, you know, from 96 when Agile was first conceptualized and kind of used and, and everything like that. Um, they use little sticky notes to track tasks on a swim lane. Um, so that literally went into kind of the, the industry standard of how to track stuff. So if you're done with something to do, doing that. Um, so that's the basics of, of boards. Um, what Microsoft has done, they have put, how can I say this? It made it so much in there. Like last night when I did notes for, for the show, I went through the is, website is, and... Did, did you send the notes? I did, I did, I did. Did you get it? I did. Did you read it? Yes. So you know what to talk about? Uh -huh. So I can leave. 
Cool. Yes. <laughs> so um, I was doing the uh, I was doing a little bit of research and just you know picking yeah. out the, the most important or my my best features. And Is that the I right just, side of your face? Uh, it's this side. Is it this, this side? side? Yeah. Is the lighting good enough for that? Yeah. But anyway. staying mysterious. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> And um, I just went through the documents again, and it is absolutely overwhelming on what kind of technology and the thought they put into something that seems simple, but the execution is yeah, it's, it's world class. Like, it's because they obviously use it use it themselves, right? They have to I mean, absolutely have to. They, they, so you know, Visual Studios Team Services, so VSTS. Um, the VSTS team used VSTS. Yeah. I mean, that's how they were able to achieve a two-week release cycle. Yeah. Right. And so, you can still see yeah. up to today. Yeah. Like, exactly. I would, I would work on a board on a project. Let's say it's six months, and I would log in one morning. The next morning, you can, you can see there's one or two little features added and stuff like that. But it just it absolutely works. Can you dumb Azure boards down a bit? I mean, yes. What is the science yes. behind it? There's methodology, and, and what are we talking about? We're talking about DevOps here? Yeah? We're talking about From project lifecycle management? So, or where does it fit I, in? I would definitely say a project lifecycle because you know you can you can use boards even without the whole DevOps. So, okay. let, let's say, for instance, your company wants to go agile. They don't know how to do it. It's intimidating, it's big, it's massive. What Azure, Azure boards can do is literally compart yeah, compartmentalize, compartmentalize, that's yeah. the word, um, <clears throat> the agile process in like small little usable chunks, you know, and then from there they can grow. So, you know, if your swim lane is there and your tasks are there, you know, get the pipelines and get all the other stuff. Absolutely amazing. Is there specific methodologies? We, we often hear the term safe being used as a methodology for mm. implementing agile. Now, through some sort of a CMMI um, yep. maturity model and all of those things, is the tooling available for that, or can you implement some they, sort of methodology? They, they actually of went the the whole spectrum. So they do uh, Agile Scrum and the MC, hmm? MCII, CMMI, CMMI. And I'm not even a developer. Uh, unfortunately, Top I'm <coughs> right here on Azure. I don't use that. I, I use the, the the Scrum methodology. Okay, um, but. They've catered for, for so much. Look, there's there's a lot of competitors out there. You know, you've got your Trello boards, your Jira. I, I came from Jira. So yeah. I love Jira. It worked and it got the job done. And got onto Azure boards and I was scared. Like, <laughs> it's a learning curve. It's got a, it's got a steep learning curve, right? But now that I know what to do and how to do it, I can't, yeah. literally, I can't function at the office without it. Does Azure Boards work with other products? I mean, how do you how do you get to Azure Boards? I think it's probably mm. the big question. Um, there, there's a lot of information on it. Um, Docs.microsoft uh, forward slash Azure forward slash Boards. Okay. Uh, literally, you can see everything that they have to offer. I think on my notes, um, you know, it connects to. It would be great if we actually had those teams. notes available, right? Mm. <laughs> it's on your Teams, right? Is it? <laughs> no, this is. This I sent you a message this morning. I promise. Well, this is notes just for the show. That's why, okay. uh, that's why it says Kubernetes everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was. Oh, so I was. Uh, so I wasn't supposed to be here. Or where's where's mine then? Ask Warren. Warren? Did he ah, update? Ah, Warren's <laughs> the copy paste guy. You know, it right? probably happened. Was my one note didn't sync because it's a terrible. Uh, problem. Terrible. That's probably so, what um, happened. There's there's a lot of stuff that you can you can integrate it to. Um, one of the very very simple things is uh, Excel. Okay. You can literally copy paste into Excel. But that's like integration. Well, um, you can import all tasks from Excel to or like mass imports and stuff like okay. that. Microsoft Teams. So look with your Azure boards inside of Microsoft Teams. It's all an act. It's not even a, you're not you're not surfacing via it. By a no, 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 no. The hooks that you you set yeah, up. Yeah. So if I can create an ticket item, I can and go stuff like that. Azure boards create item, and I can do it that way. And you can push, but it's not like you are surfacing the interface of Azure Boards inside the Teams as a tab, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, you can. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh. You can literally go Teams, there's a little... Uh, yeah, you can add. Your add-on add that add. you have yeah. and your whole board is there. So they actually ask questions around it in the DevOps exam. Is They'll say, you have X, Y, Z, blah, 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 but you need to surface it in this way. Right. What application would you surface it to? And Teams is one of the options. 
Would you would you recommend <coughs> Teams? I mean, does Azure Boards connect to some sort of open open source like Slack? Is it uh, connected for Slack? It does Slack as well. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah. So normal emails for me personally, that's just my my go to. I've got email, my email set up on everything. So if something happens, if a ticket is created, added uh, comments or anything, it's all about transparency. I think that's the the biggest biggest thing. Well, that like, was the biggest thing about having it on a big sticky board. In front of everybody, so that you could in see that, exactly in, what everybody was doing. In that little office. Yeah. What Correct. happens to your team that sits in Australia? 100%. What happens to the guys yes. in America? Yeah. This way, it's everything's there. How is Azure Boards different to something like Microsoft Planner? Because Planner's also got buckets. It's Kanban friendly. It looks like Kanban because that's what everyone talks uh, about. I wouldn't be surprised but if you could export from Project Two Boards. You can. Oh, you you can. But the thing is, uh, remember your your Microsoft Planner is waterfall based. So your gang charts and everything, hundred percent sure. You even in uh, Azure Boards, you can do a a release plan, okay. which looks the same. We just call it a release plan. But yeah, you can literally export. But that's more waterfalling. All right. This and and does it connect to Azure well. DevOps? Yeah. So you can do your build automation. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. You see, that's management. the greatest thing about it is you can have a build only trigger. Exactly. If it's assigned to a ticket, yeah, okay. that ticket's in boards. So if there is no ticket assigned to for that specific task, nothing will happen. No release cycle, no continuous integration. You, we can even go a little bit back. Mm -hmm. So once a ticket starts and you move it through the swim lane, you can set that thing up proper, proper agile. So if it goes into QA, it literally assigns it to a QA person. All right, so that person works on it, goes to stage. So you've got groups and teams that you can build yep. out inside of Azure Boards and then assign cool, resources man. to that and then assign tickets to those resources. 100%. Are there escalations in the ticket management system? Where let's say someone has been allocated two days to perform a specific task and it doesn't have... Remember, it's, a, it's not a work in progress. That would be more of a, a task or a issue tracking system. Okay. Azure Boards enables development. That's completely different. All right. Uh, is there some sort of resource monitoring? I mean, how do you know how effective putting stuff in boards is? I mean, do I have a dashboard sort of like a rag state? That's one of my that's one of my favorite things. Oh, geez, so, see, these are power hungry, power hungry. But Mr. PMM, no Mr. PMM over here now needs PMM, to shoot. product marketing manager. No, you know what I mean. No, you, you okay, talk. PM. It's like you should PM. have charged this properly. You don't come to my house. <laughs> And look, doesn't work. Can they see that? Look, there's the red. it goes red. Look at that. That's horrible. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. Do you have more vapes with you? No. Yes. Speaking of that, so the way that you can work it is set up per project. Yeah. So you can either set up a complete group of developers working on multiple items, or you can do it product specific. And the nice thing about that is there's a feature called the dashboard. The it's dashboard. The dashboard. Right. The dashboard. Yeah, it's kind Must of be important, right, if it's the dashboard. The dashboard. So what you do is you can literally customize it and by tiles build this dashboard for your customer. If they want to see return on investments, they want to see what they're spending and you know how the how the sprint is doing with burn downs and release plans and all of that, visual representation, you put that in hundred percent. And what you is can actually give down? them access. Down. What is a burn down? Burn down. Explain this to the In South Africa it sounds all kind of weird, Because right? we are literally burn There down is a definition. Like, no, 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 it's not the, it's, it's not, it's not that kind of burn down. Okay. So uh, a burn down is you allocate an amount of tasks to a team within a certain amount of days. Okay. Right? So it starts on top with, let's say five, 10, 80 tasks. Each time you finish a task, when you hit the definition of done, it would burn down. So one less item. So it's a little graph that goes okay. like this, or like that. Sorry, camera's on the way around. So that way. <laughs> burn down. So um, it's, it's a visual representation of how much work is done, and can you actually produce what you said you were going to at the end of the day. Because this is a 15 minute show, that's all we have for you today. What? Yes. I talk like with two of my favorite things. There's like 20. Okay, you get one more. In one, closing, two, three, two, in closing if, if, if you'd like to get hold of uh, Herman, Harman. Harman, like. Where, where, where do we find you on the interwebs, Twitter, right? How do people reach out to you? Um, best way is... 
do not give your email address. Up. We've got that. that we've got that so many, many followers. Right? If if you look up into the sky, you'll you'll see me every now and then fly by. So yeah, you can just shout to me and I'll come down. I've never. That's like, anyhow, <laughs> just some dark tips for, for people to, to, who want to start using agile methodology and they want some sort of tooling inside of Asia. Yep. How, how, do they, how do they go about doing this? Where, is there a learning path? Is there some sort of curriculum? Um, are, are you available for training? How do I, they? I would, I would love to train and um, you know, assist because I'm, I'm more of a, a fanboy than, a, than an actual MVP. So the best way to do it is go through the documentation Microsoft provides. Okay. It's a lot of information, but use it. Yeah. It's free. Download, create your own project, and just start something simple. Even if you're working on Trello or Jira or something like that, do a copy of it. Put it in there and start playing around. You'll literally find the absolute power that Azure Boards has towards a project. Well, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the show you sitting on the right hand side on the right side of the table you need yes. to do it do you remember from last time to do what it? oh right yes no wait hold on See, just look over there there's a bell just it's like kind of it's there are you doing the click subscription it, click thing? it yeah so <laughs> if you enjoyed the show hit the bell hit like link link like link link, link, link. <laughs>